Being a grandparent can definitely be a grand experience, and that's whether you're experiencing the joys and challenges of it now or if you plan to do that someday. Here to give some insight into that is Dr. Bill Baker. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Marissa. I'm glad to be here. Okay, well, if you can begin, how can grandparents have that grand experience? Well, first of all, you'll be glad to know I resisted the urge to bring photographs of my five <laughs> grandchildren. You have firsthand uh, experience. Oh, yes, you bet, you bet. <laughs> um, actually, effective grandparenting begins with a key question. Uh, what kind of grandparent do I want to be? If we choose to be a, uh, an involved grandparent, we need to focus on several important roles. Um, for example, as uh, a guard, we provide protection. Uh, as a roadmap, we give guidance. Uh, as an anchor, we represent security. As a nurturer, uh, we uh, encourage growth. And uh, as a discoverer, we uh, reinforce and encourage self-discovery. Now, through these five roles, we can be effective as grandparents and hopefully make it a grand experience. All right, and that's the acronym for GRAND that you spelled out for Correct. us just now. How do you do that without interfering with the parents' responsibilities? Uh, excellent question. Regrettably, sometimes we do interfere in negative ways. To prevent interference as we travel the grandparenting highway, we need to uh, practice certain rules of the road. For example, in terms of family rules, we need to submit to our grown children's rules instead of compelling them to adopt our preferred structure. And in terms of family resources, we need to supply what they need without competing with the grown children or the other grandparents. And in terms of family reinforcement, we need to support them emotionally uh, without compounding the underlying issues uh, and, and problems. Uh, the bottom line is stay involved, but do not interfere. Would you recommend that all parties get together and have a conversation? How do you make that plan work? Well, sometimes that's a great way to do it. Uh, even in therapy sessions, I've had the respective grandparents in, uh, especially when they're trying to deal with certain kinds of what I think of as grandparenting roadblocks, uh, especially in the abdication roadblock uh, in which the grown children fail to function as parents. And so the grandparents have to step in and basically take on the primary uh, parenting responsibilities, and that can be shared with with the other grandparents. Uh, and so the more collaboration there is, hopefully the more good is done. Uh, in the manipulation roadblock, for example, uh, the grown children will use the grandchildren, either withhold them or use them in some way to manipulate or punish the grandparents for some reason. Uh, another roadblock is the relocation roadblock, and that's a tough one. Uh, our children take our grandchildren to another <laughs> state or a distant city or another country. And because of the distance, it's really hard for us to interact with them sufficiently. So as grandparents, we have to use a lot of wisdom and skill, perhaps even use professional resources to help with those kinds of tough roadblocks. Yeah, and keeping with the professional resources, I know we have the number up on the screen mm -hmm. and some more information. Where can people go to learn more? Well, they can certainly Google uh, uh, online resources. Uh, there are a lot of grandparenting resources. Some excellent books have been written on the subject. Uh, a lot of articles. Uh, or they could, you know, pursue some professional therapy with someone like a licensed marriage and family therapist who specializes in working in family systems, which would include all the grandparents involved and all the grandchildren and so forth. Okay, Dr. Baker, and it's certainly never too soon to learn. I'm taking notes now, and I hope to be well, like good, you one day. Good for you. Good <laughs> well, for you. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Marissa. Well,